does it better. I love the way that you put it together. Oh, you fancy now. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today is Friday and um, I decided to pick up the camera to make a little vlog. Um, this weekend, as some of you may know, Batman is coming out. So I'm going to see Batman this weekend at a um, dining theater. And but for now, I'm gonna go grab something to eat and I will update you guys soon. I just wanted to get into the lighting, the natural lighting in my bedroom. Like I love, 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 love how it looks when the natural lighting is shining in. Looks beautiful. But yeah, um, sorry, I don't want to get you guys dizzy. This is the perfect way. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Just thought I'll share how um, bipolar New York weather is. Today is Friday and it's 31 degrees, and on Sunday it's gonna be 70 degrees. So. Yeah. Craziness. If you're from New York, you know. I'm going somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. I'm scared to find out. Fun fact, these two guys here, these are the Uso twins and these are the sons of Rakishi. If you watch wrestling in the early 90s, no you definitely know Rakishi. Rock intimidated by the well over 400 pound Rakishi Fox. 424 pounds from the second row. Oh, 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 the chest of the floor. Right into the chest of the rock. That's the rock. Rakishi has this one. Trying to clean him. She's in love. Like she's in love. She's in love. She's in love. She's in love. She's in I just got back into the house and changed into my pajamas. It is 1 a.m. and I am exhausted. Um, I ended up going to Road to WrestleMania. I had a great time. It was my first time at a live wrestling event and I had an amazing time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some rest and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm um, going to see Batman tomorrow. So I will update you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good afternoon guys. Today is Sunday and I am at Blue Dog for lunch. So stay tuned and I will let you guys know. I went with the dirty chai. Dirty chai, I think. What it is? Dirty chai. And this is a Glen Coco. Well, that's fine. So I've ordered the egg white avocado, roasted potatoes, and I guess it's like a side salad. Yeah. Chocolate chip. That's what Brunch was great. Um, if you guys remember on Friday, I told you about the bipolar weather, how it was 37 degrees, and today it's, I think, 66 degrees Sunday. But yeah, about to add to Starbucks real quick, and then I'm gonna head home and wait to go watch Batman later. So I'll update you guys. Thank you. You too. This is a venti ice matcha latte with oat milk, two pumps chai, vanilla sweet cream cold foam, and caramel drizzle.
One week later. So I just wanted to come and close out this vlog. Um, I do want to say I went again to see the Batman yesterday. Um, but yes, before I get into my thoughts on the Batman, um, when I went the first time, I went to IPIX Theater and I tried to get like a video of my food, but it was super dark in the theater. But I did have the Mahi fish tacos. You can get them blackened or fried. I had mine fried. I believe mine came with the side of truffle fries or it could have been regular fries, but it came with fries. But they have a great selection. Sometimes I will say it is a hit or miss with the food quality, but I can say that my food was good. Um, instead of going with my normal Norma Jean drink this time, I went with the rum punch, which was also delicious. I think it's just good to have the opportunity to order food from your seat and just have it brought to you. So that's always good. I'm gonna just give you my opinion on how I felt about the movie, The Batman. Um, yes, I did go again yesterday to see it. My overall opinion on The Batman. I feel like it was a great movie. I feel it was very modernized as far as like the Riddler being on live and stuff like that. Um, it was very dark and gritty and dark humor as expected. Um, there's definitely gonna have to be another part of this because a lot of the things that happen feel like there's supposed to be a follow up to it. Catwoman was great. I like the part where we were able to see like what she was seeing when she went into the bar and stuff like that. That was very good. And yeah, so if you haven't went to see the Batman, go see it. It is a three hour movie. I did see it twice, so that means it must be good. But yeah, I would definitely recommend you going to see the Batman. I will say from the start of the movie, you can tell that a lot of thought and creativity went into the making of this movie. Um, Robert Pattinson did a great job playing the Batman. Uh, like his body language, his emotions and everything like that. I think he did a great job. I feel like this um, murder, mystery, th thriller type movie, um, everything was like so modernized as far as like the Riddler being on live and everything like that. Basically, he left a lot of cryptic clues of, for Bat the Batman to try to solve the murders. So I think that was good. And I feel like every clue got closer and closer to home. Um, and like I said, I don't wanna give away too much, but when you see the movie, you'll understand what I'm saying. But in my overall opinion, this was the best Batman I've seen thus far. Um, it is a three hour movie, three hour movie. Um, I didn't feel like I was in the movie for three hours. And again, as I mentioned, I saw it twice. So to sit in a movie theater three hours, two different times and not feel like you're in a movie theater three times. That means it was a good movie, good storyline. And again, I enjoyed it. So if you haven't yet, I would definitely recommend going to see it. Um, this will wrap up this vlog. I just wanted to come back and give my thoughts on how I felt about the movie. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with another video.